In this part, we will discuss the event log mechanisms, how to define an event log for proprietary data, and how to display an event log. PC View is able to record three kinds of events. An alarm event, when alarm status changes. An a bit event, when a bit value or status changes. And a user action event, such as a set value, acknowledge or mask an alarm, log in, log out, or execute a program. To define trends, we configured each variable as a trend in an archive unit. To record events, the mechanism is different, and we define one or more log lists which set filters of events to be recorded. A log list is attached to a specific archive unit to record as well as to print output events and to display with a log viewer. To make a variable, bit or alarm, eligible for recording through log list filters, we select in its configuration the property LOG. All user actions are eligible for logging without requiring any configuration. A log list can also be linked to a printer unit when only printed output and not recording is required. The same events can be logged by one or more log lists. It's possible to find log lists attached to different types of archive units filtering different events. Here the log list 1 records all events in a proprietary archive unit and prints it to printer 1. The log list 2 records only the alarms in the database archive unit. User log on and log off are only printed through the printer log list as shown. The first step is to define the log list. The configuration of log list is done from the Application Explorer in the section Archives. We're going to first define a log list within the unit My Archives. To add a new log list, right click on Log List and select Add a Log List. Enter a name for the log list, for example, all events. And here it is possible to select a printer declared in PC View and format to print events whenever they occur. Click on the ellipsis button to get more formats available. It is also possible to inhibit the record of events depending on the value of a specific bit. This could be very useful to avoid recording data while a process is in maintenance, for example. The tab event filter defines the events to be logged with the log list. Alarm events, also the bit changes, and the user actions. You can also define the alarm level for the alarm to be logged. Here we left all the events that were selected. The other two tabs will be discussed in the advanced tutorial. Click OK, and the log list is now created. We're going to create now a log list to print user log on and log off. As we don't want to record these events, we use a printer log list. Under the printer section, right click on log list and add a log list. Enter a name, for example, user printer and a description. Select the printer number. And in the event filter tab, Leave only the user logon ticked. The printer log list is now ready to go, and the next user logon or log off will be printed. The next step is to allow a variable to be logged. Open the variable tree under the variables section and select the variables to be logged. For example, the variable on off. Double click to access its properties. And here you have the log property. If the property is ticked, the value will be logged if the log list exists. As we want this value to be logged, we tick the property. We can do the same for the alarm time high. And that's it. Our variables are now ready to be logged. Events such as switching on or switching off the light, as well as the alarm for the light, are filtered through a log list and recorded to a disk through an archive unit we just defined. You're going to see how easy it is to display the data. PC View comes native with a log viewer, 
a tool that displays lists of events filtered and recorded through a single log list. You can insert a log viewer from the Insert menu, and it's possible to insert different log viewers in the same screen and in the same project. The log viewer displays the data recorded through a log list filter. The first step is to select the log list for the log viewer from the combo box. You cannot display data from more than one log list at one time in one log viewer. Automatically, the event filter defined in the log list is applied to the log viewer display filter. It's possible then to change the event in the display filter. The log viewer is extremely flexible both in its appearance and operation and has a large number of configurable properties. The display tab is used to configure general display settings and for example you can change the color of the background. The log viewer can display a maximum of eight columns with a fully customizable content. You can configure the column title and the display format in the corresponding columns using substitution characters. Let's click the Help button to access to the online help. The topic configuring the log viewer line format. Here it shows all the format possibilities. And for example, we can add a substitution to display the threshold value triggering an alarm. And here we will enter the title for the new column, Threshold. Add the substitution pound C to display the threshold value. And from the Execution tab, you can select the number of lines to be displayed, authorize the operator to print the selected event by clicking the Print icon in the toolbar, select the allowances or authorizations that the operators are permitted at runtime, and for example, you can tick the Enable Sorting to have the lists of events sorted according to the content of a particular column. The sort modification is then automatically ticked to allow the user to change the sort column and direction. Click OK to validate, and you can resize and move the log viewer anywhere in your Mimic as any other object. Switch to Run Mode, and you can see the log viewer and the last events recorded. It's possible to adapt the size of the columns. And don't be fooled, even if it looks like an alarm viewer, the data displayed here is not in real time, which means that to see a new recorded event, you have to refresh the display. For example, if I switch on the light and reset the time, the alarm generated is displayed in the alarm viewer, but not in the log viewer. The log viewer display has to be refreshed. A fast and easy way to do that is click on the button from the scroll bar here as shown. And here it is. We can now see the last events. As configured in the properties, we can sort the data displayed according to a specific column. For example, click on the event header, and if you click again, the direction changes. The menu allows to filter the list to be displayed with different status, such as the alarms, and other actions such as log to 1 and log to 0, command send, alarm acknowledgement, and user log on, log off. For example here, I filter to display only the alarms. And it's possible to display data recording during a specific period. Click the Time Filter button. You can either search data earlier or later for a specific date or from data to the date. Click Apply to see the result. And if you right click on the menu, you can change the location of the menu and even its contents. Depending on the authorization from the Execution tab, the user can access to a filter pop-up when they click on this button. And from here, the user can select the new filters to be displayed in the log viewer. And thank you for joining PCView Solutions Tutorials.